Salisbury steak. Yes, thick, meaty beef patties covered in a luxurious mushroom gravy. This recipe is loved across the world, so let's get started. Today I'm making Salisbury steak. This is one of my favorite meals. We're going to start with a pound of 85% ground beef. To that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of ketchup, a tablespoon of soy, and a tablespoon of Worcestershire, or however you wish to say that. Now, then I'm going to add, this is dry mustard, black pepper, and a little cayenne. An egg, one egg, and half a cup of bread crumbs. Now we're going to mix this up real well. This meat, I'm going to make the patties, and then I'm going to put them in the refrigerator for a couple hours to rest. And during that time, I'll make the gravy with the mushrooms and the onions. All right, this is mixed well. I'm going to make four patties, about half an inch thick. I've made this before and they don't shrink much. Oh, and by the way, I love my new work table. My husband bought this for me and it's awesome. I have an awesome husband too. <laughs> all right, all right, my patties are made. I'm going to cover this with saran and put it in the refrigerator for at least two hours or more. And then in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and make the gravy. All right, into the refrigerator. Now we're going to make the sauce for the Salisbury steak. We'll start with a couple of tablespoons of butter. I like to brown the mushrooms first, and then I'll add the onions. I like to put a little bit of oil in there with the butter. Now once it gets hot, then we'll add the mushrooms to brown. Here we go, medium high heat with the mushrooms. I'm going to brown these well. Browning them on a medium high heat will keep all that water from coming out and adding additional liquid. Plus, I like the way they look when they're browned nicely. If you simmer them, you just saute them on a lower heat, they turn gray. All right, these mushrooms look good. I'm gonna add the onions now. I did add another tablespoon of butter and a little bit of salt. You have to be careful with the seasoning right now because we're going to reduce this. And when we reduce it, the flavors become concentrated and so does the salt. So now I'm going to sprinkle two tablespoons of flour, stir this up and cook it for a couple of minutes. Now I'm going to add three cups of unsalted beef stock. I'm going to add a tablespoon of Worcestershire and two tablespoons of ketchup. I'm going to let this come to a slow simmer and then we're going to turn it up higher to actually reduce it some to thicken it up. We're going to let this go for about 10 minutes. We're reducing this and it'll thicken up. So this has been reduced. You can see the level started out up here where you see the brown. You can see how much I've reduced it. It's thickened up some and it will thicken up even more when we put it with the meat. But now I'm going to taste it and add salt. Remember we were very careful with the seasoning, at least the salt prior to reduction. I'm actually adding a little salt and a little more pepper. Give it a good stir and taste it again. Needs just a little more. 
But if I had done this prior to reducing it, it'd be over-salted. Okay, I poured the sauce back into this container. This is one that the broth was in. Now I'm going to scrape this and get all this goodness out as much as I can into the sauce. And I'm going to use this pot, this pan, to heat my, to cook my meat patties. Alright, I'm melting the butter on a medium-high heat, two tablespoons of butter, back in the same skillet that I used to make the sauce slash gravy. I'll add the meat patties as soon as this gets a little hotter. Into the skillet, we're going to cook them for two to three minutes on each side, and then I'm going to add the sauce back in and continue to cook. Turn them. So I'm going to return my gravy slash sauce back to the pan, and this will cook for yeah, about five minutes. Will probably be enough. I believe this is done. Now we'll plate it up. There we go, Salisbury steak ready to eat. I served it with mashed potatoes with some of the sauce over it. And I also had a green salad on the side. Please give it a try and send me a comment. If you like the video, give us a like and consider subscribing. Ring the bell and you will be notified when I upload a new video. Y'all have a blessed day.